Hello everyone and welcome to the Phoenix Crash Course. So my plan was to talk about routing today, but then I thought, you know what, there is something very cool inside Phoenix that I think it's very important to know before we talk about routes. And that is something called verified routes. And what is that? Now, open up your shop web uh, file. And as you can see, this is just a regular Elixir module, right? Nothing special. Now, you're going to type Control F and find verified routes. Let me scroll down. Where is it? There you go. This is a function that is being called inside this macro of shop web, right? Now, as I mentioned on the previous video, whenever you see a controller, for example, or a view, so let me open up product controller, you can see here on top, use shop web followed by an atom. Here, you're pretty much calling the shop web macro and then as an optional parameter, you're, you're passing which function inside uh, the shop web macro you want to run. And you can see the same thing on a view file. So if I scroll down, I'm going to go to page HTML. Here you have use shop web HTML. And yeah, inside the controller, you have use shop web controller. So if you go to the source, which is shop web, here you can see that we have a macro defined. And then you're, whenever you call this macro, you have a parameter, an optional parameter, which is this which, where you're going to apply a specific function inside this module. Now, this is just uh, implementation details. You don't need to know all of this that I just mentioned. This is more out of curiosity, just in case you want to know. And then inside here, you can find your uh, HTML, uh, live view. So whenever you do use shop web controller, for example, you're calling this function. This is running whenever you type use shop web controller. And then this is running whenever you call use shop web HTML. And then whenever you have a macro, typically what you have inside the macro is a bunch of imports and a couple of function calls. So as you can see inside HTML, inside the live component, live view, and controller, you have something very special called verified routes. The verified routes work inside a controller, inside the live view, or inside HTML. And okay, 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 but what is a verified route? So let me go inside a view. I'm gonna go inside uh, the homepage. Let's say that I, I want to add a link here, a link to the product listing page. How can I do that? Well, we're not using live view. This is just a regular HTML. So we can just paste an A tag here. And then as an href, I can pass forward slash products. And then I can say see uh, all products. So let me start the server, mixphx.server. Okay, let me go back to Google Chrome. And this is working. We have now a link which says uh, see all products. And then once you click on it, this works, which is great. But let's say that I was coding extremely fast and I made a typo. I wrote products with two letters, uh, two P letters at the beginning. Now, I don't see any errors here, but if I go back to my Google Chrome and I click on see all products, well, hold up no route found for get products. And then I see a typo and I'm like, oh yeah, I made a typo. Now imagine I shipped this to production. I made a typo on a URL, I shipped to production and then all the users got a broken page. This is not ideal, right? Is there a way of checking or verifying the route before I use it? Yes. Now this is an HTML file, this is a view which means that the verified routes function is auto imported. So we can use verified routes here. 
And what is a verified route? It's the following syntax. Before your regular string, you're going to type the P sigil. And this is the magic behind verified routes. Whenever you see this tilde followed by a P, that's the P sigil, which means we're using the verified route. And if I made a typo here and hit save, whoa, I get a warning. So if I hover on top of the A tag, no route path for shopweb.router matches forward slash products with two letter P's at the beginning. So if I create any route, here inside my HTML file, like wrong, and that route is not inside the router, then I'm gonna get an error. And the same thing happens inside the controller. So let me go to random controller, like the product controller. Here, I'm going to uh, remove the index function here. Let's say that instead of rendering the index HTML, I want to do a redirect. So I'm gonna say con, and then I'm going to throw a redirect. Now, I want to go to, and I want to say wrong. Is this going to work? I mean, in runtime, this is not going to work, but on the code, I don't see any errors. Now, this is a controller, which means that the verified routes is auto imported, which means that I can type the, whoops, the P sigil which is the verified routes. And as you can see here, I get an error path must, oh, sorry. I need a forward slash here. Okay, now I get the warning of verified routes. You can see here that, well, there's no route path for uh, forward slash wrong. So if you're inside a controller or a view, you can add this P sigil to verify if the route is valid. Now, there's not only that about verified routes. There are also two very important functions that you can use. And in my opinion, they are very helpful. So the first one that I want to use is, uh, and why is this not, why is my P tag not working here? Let me type another thing. Okay, now this is working. Uh, there, let's say that I want to use a query string on this page actually on the product listing page i'm gonna grab this inside my product listing page let's say that i want to go back to the home page so i'm gonna say this uh, go back to home page go back to home page okay and there should be no warnings okay now if you remember from our previous videos on the home page, I have a form, and then on this form, I can select my console. If I select PlayStation and hit save, what that is going to do is that is going to append a query string, which is a question mark console equals PlayStation. That's a query string, pretty normal in web development. Let's say that for some reason inside my product listing page, I don't want to go to the home page. I want to go to the home page with a console applied. I want to say console equals Nintendo. Can I do this? Yes, this is a valid uh, HTML. If I go back to Google Chrome, I want to go to the product listing page, which is forward slash products. So go back to the home page. And as you can see, I added the console equals Nintendo to the URL. And that changed our cookie that we created from a plug on a previous video. So this works. Okay. But let's say that I have like lots and lots of query parameters. Maybe I have some tracking parameters, some uh, analytics parameters that I want to add here. Then every time I have a new parameter, I'm going to have to manually write and, and then this new parameter is equal to this and new parameter equal to this. And like, this is not very practical. Is there a way, a more convenient way of adding query parameters to the URL? Yes. If you are using the verified routes with the P sigil, you can simply interpolate a keyword list here. 
and let's see what happens. I'm going to pass uh, console is um, Xbox. Xbox. What did it do wrong here? Oh, sorry. It's a keyword list. I'm missing the list. Okay. Console Xbox. I want to pass like, I don't know, admin true. And then, yeah, this is it for now. Is this going to work? Let's find out. I'm going to go back to the product page, products. So if I go back to the home page, I should get on the URL admin equals true and console equals Xbox. There you go. Console equal Xbox and admin true. So this is a very convenient way of adding query parameters. You just have a list with the parameters and then add it to the URL. And that's it. Super easy, super convenient. Here I can even add like my promo code. So I can say promo followed by the secret code, secret code. And then if I have a promotional code, I'm going to copy this uh, Higgs uh, syntax. I'm going to paste this on the home page as well. OK, let's go back to Chrome. If I go to forward slash products again, and if I go back to the home page, I should have Xbox on the URL and my secret promotional code. And there you go. Selected console, Xbox. You can see the cookie is updated and you have a promotional code. Very convenient. Now, the final very useful function that you can use is a function called URL. Now, let's say that instead of the path, which is forward slash products, for some reason, you need the full URL. You need the complete thing with HTTPS, forward slash, forward slash, uh, localhost, uh, port for the thousand. You need the whole thing. How can I do that? Well, on our view file, now you can use this anywhere. You can use it inside the controller or here I'm using inside uh, a view. So now you can see uh, this is the full URL. And then I'm going to add a variable here. I mean, not a variable, a function call, really. And then you can type URL. That's a function coming from verified route, which is auto imported. And then you can just pass our PC Joe for products. Now, again, if I make a typo here and I hit save, I should get a warning because this route does not exist. If I remove that and add a valid uh, route, I'm going to go back to Chrome. And if I go to the product listing page, let's see. Yep, this is the product listing page. This is the full URL. HTTP forward slash localhost port 4000 path products. And if I add anything here as a query parameter, like uh, anything equals true. Uh, yeah, actually, that does not work. Like I get the full uh, URL and that does not include query parameters. I mean, you know, just figure that out with you guys. So that's useful to know. And there you go. Those are verified routes. You're going to use them very often. They're very useful. Whenever you want to add a path, do not edit uh, just a string. Don't use just a string. You use the PC Joe to leverage the power of verified routes. And that's it for today. See you next time.